Back when I was sick, I used to play New Super Mario Bros. Wii a lot, and by that, I mean a lot. I probably have 100%ed that game at least 5 times. I mean, I used to be proud when the 5 stars would show up on the 3 save files that I had. Super mega satisfying. And I'll get back to this in a moment, however, this story brings me to a topic I've been wanting to talk about for a bit. Save files. When did we start to take them for granted? And why isn't anyone having fun with them? Well, back in my days, we didn't have you guys' cool save files with hoverboards and cars without windows. In our days, saves were saved using non-saving saves, also known as passwords. I'm not gonna dwindle on passwords since history is a boring and annoying subject and passwords are equally annoying and boring, to the point that zero years later, Nintendo actually did say to Nintendo, Battery. And with that, the first relevant game to use save files was born, The Legend of Zelda for the NES. Obviously, The Legend of Zelda was quite an influential game back when it came out. It was this big open world you could explore before, you know, Cyberpunk 2077. Although during this time, if your mom were to turn on the washing machine while you were playing, it could cause a power outage, meaning that all of your progress would be lost. Wait, that still happens nowadays. But not to fret, battery keeps your data alive. But we need a place to get back into the game, right? The game allowed you to select your playthrough from the after title screen, which is what many refer to as a sci-fi screen. Because this is the NES though, it was hard for the devs to have fun without making the game a slideshow. And so what we were left with is text, text 2 and text 3. Man, I wish that save files were to be much more fun. On another note, let's go back to New Super Mario Bros. Wii for a moment. Like previously mentioned, New Super Mario Bros. Wii for the Nintendo Wii made by Nintendo is luckily a game that doesn't feel 50 years backwards. I'm looking at you, Nintendo company. When you save the game either permanently or permanently with a balloon, the game will show you stats, but what's this? Stars? What's up with that? The more you complete the game, the more stars to you are given. If I recall correctly, and by that I definitely don't mean looking at YouTube comments, you have to... But it's something we expect nowadays, to be honest, and it's not really exciting to talk about that 13-year-old game in 2022. Save files aren't just for saving and displaying stats, however, as developers realize that you can have tons of fun by recognizing these saves exist. A very well-known example is the play this game, unlock this thing in another game thing that I've always adored. Staying on Nintendo because I'm a simp and I will accept that fact. If you have a save file for Super Mario Galaxy, you get Rosalina for free in Mario Kart Wii. Wii! So excited. But the devs weren't having enough fun, and so 20 Years ago, they decided that saves coming needed to be killed. The very infamous ink ribbons were born. Very infamous? Well, it's because these were physical items in the game that were your only way of saving. Most people talk about the ribbons, however, I find more interesting that they chose typewriters as a way to save. What this reminds me of is those notes that you find of characters that have already died in the game, but they wrote something before they died, so... It's like your history is being preserved both in the real world and also in the game world. Neat little touch. And so as a game as, and so as a modern game developer, I'm gonna borrow still these very cool features that other games have. Why? It's because I can't come up with original ideas. Just kidding, I actually did come up with a cool idea. In the world of my game, you are a therapist that for some reason has a dash ability and has the ability to destroy everything. And I thought that a creative way to represent the save files would be to literally have them be files, aka documents of patients and stuff from the game. This is NOTHING, however, compared to what is possibly the most creative use of save files ever. Prepare for... 